Hello everyone, in this video we will see what are schema maps in ServiceNow and how can we view them. So quickly, first of all the definition. Schema map displays the details of tables and their relationships in a visual manner, allowing administrators to view and easily access different parts of the database schema. In other words, it means if you want to see how a particular table is related to other tables, it can be viewed through schema map easily in ServiceNow. And then there are few color codings already defined by ServiceNow. For each relationship type, there is a different color used on the schema map. For example, for reference by, they are using the red color. And then for referencing orange, extended by green, extending blue and which we will see in service now in a second we are in service now and i will type tables on the navigator and then under system definition i will click on tables and we can get a view of all the tables here and we will take an example of incident table and then we will move to other complicated table so i will type incident here and i will go into that and as soon as the record opens, if I scroll down under related links, we will see show schema map. And when you click on this related link, a new diagram would be generated, which will show all the relationships of incident table. If I scroll down a bit, if you see the incident table is at the center and we have single lines connecting the incident table. And if we see the orange line and then the orange color here, it shows referencing table. So that means incident task table is referencing incident table. And then for the red color on the right hand side, if you could see offering execution plan. So that means incident table is referencing these tables in its own database structure. If I go down a bit, we will see a green color. And green color signifies that incident table has been inherited by the task table. If you take your cursor on this green color, it shows the table is extended by the select table. Similarly, if you go here on the red color, it says the table is referenced by the selected table as well. So that means there is a reference. There are few other things which we can see on this particular schema map. If you click on this plus sign, it will show the further relationships of this incident task table. So that means if you want to see further expanded hierarchy of this incident task table, you just have to click on this plus sign. If I collapse this hierarchy, it will go back to the previous state. Next is if you want to see the columns of this table or the incident table which we were referencing to, you just have to click on this plus sign and all the tables will come along here. And if you want to see the table which it has inherited, you can see the task columns at the bottom and just have to click on plus and then you would be able to see all the task columns. And in these task columns, there are few columns which are in red colored. So that means these are reference field and these are being referenced into some other table. If I collapse this again, now if I want to put a filter and want to see only the tables which incident table is referencing to so that means show reference table i can remove all these filters and then just leave the red one or show reference table and i would be able to see that view and i will uncheck this one as well and i'm able to see incident table is referencing to all of these tables if I click on columns, I would be able to see the caller that means the user table. So it will be present here that it is using the user table as well at the bottom and then the change request as well. If I scroll up a bit, I would be able to see the change table as well here and it's present here. Now next, if I want to see all of this view, I can just take my cursor here and then I can see all the tables in this view easily and then I can pin this as well and it will be easier for me to see all the tables instead of scrolling here. Now I will show you a complicated table called computer. I just have to put a query here and type the table name and I will select this and it will automatically generate schema map with the same filter which were already selected here. 
and if I scroll down a bit I will be able to see the computer table and where it is being referencing so show reference table and if I expand these columns the user table the core company the cost center product model everything would be referenced here or through its parent table and if I want to see details of these tables as well how they are being referencing or how they are being extended by this table I will just put all of the filters again and then I will be able to see the relationships of the computer table I will check these one by one and I will check show extending tables now I will scroll down a bit and the computer table is present at the center and we would be able to see all the relationships and if you can see these blue ones right so these tables are extending the computer table and if you have actually worked on CMDB you would be knowing there are few tables in service now which are using the computer table as the base table like the server table so we will quickly check that server table now if it is present or not I'll just uncheck this as well and only the extending tables would be shown here and I can see the server table is present here so that means we are seeing the correct view now next thing is if you want to download this schema map and send it across in email maybe or maybe for your own reference there is no direct download button given here but what you can do is click on settings here and click on this printer friendly version and then a new tab will be opened with all the filters which were already selected there now if you want to change the filters you can do it from here as well again on this pop-up and for example if I put on everything I will select all the options here and then we will download this I will do a control P so to print this and there would be an option on Chrome saying save as PDF so I am using the Chrome browser and I can see all of these relationships are given here in these six pages and I will save this on my desktop this has been downloaded in PDF and I will open it I have opened this PDF here and if I scroll down a bit I would be able to see all the tables present here and their relationships as well with the computer table I hope this video was helpful to you in understanding schema maps how can we generate a schema map what are schema maps and how can we download a schema map as well if you have any questions please let me know in comments